Hey everybody, hello patriots and digital soldiers and information warriors. Here is the proof and evidence that Brian D. Hill, formerly of USWGO Alternative News was actually innocent of his charge of child pornography in 2013. Proof that Brian is being held hostage by the deep state swamp, being held hostage to violent U.S. marshals that bust down doors and point guns at autistic people and beat up any inmates who simply cuss them out while handcuffed. Yes United States Marshals do beat up unarmed inmates while being handcuffed no matter their charges, it is cowardly. They did this during the Obama administration. Brian had already proven his innocence and is being held hostage by tyrant Adolf Thomas David Schroeder of the Middle District of North Carolina Federal Court. He is being held hostage by this corrupt federal judge along with the U.S. Attorney Office and U.S. Marshals enforcing the holding Brian hostage to fraudulent criminal conviction and sentence. Proof is that Brian had filed three different motions to vacate fraudulent begotten judgments. See document number 199 motion entitled Motion for Sanctions and to Vacate Judgment in Plaintiff's Slash Respondent's Favor Motion and Brief Slash Memorandum of Law in Support of Requesting the Honorable Court in this case vacate fraudulent begotten judgment or judgments filed by Brian David Hill. Response to motion due by October 25, 2019. Attachment exhibits as well. That motion was never contested by the government lawyers that motion was never disputed by the government lawyers. Same with document number 206 motion entitled Petitioner's Second Motion for Sanctions and to Vacate Judgment that was in plaintiff slash respondent's favor, motion and brief slash memorandum of law in support of requesting the Honorable Court in this case vacate fraudulent begotten judgment or judgments filed by Brian David Hill. Response to motion due by November 5, 2019. Attachment exhibits as well, Garland, Leah, entered, October 16, 2019. The government never responded to that motion either. Never responded even after a year when it was filed. Same with document number 217. The government never responded to that motion. Never responded even after a year when it was filed. And same with document number 222 motion entitled Petitioner's Third Motion for Sanctions, Motion for Default Judgment in 2255 Case and to Vacate Judgment that was in plaintiff slash respondent's favor filed by Brian David Hill. Attachments of 10 or 11 exhibits in support of that motion, Garland, Leah, entered, November 21, 2019. The government never responded to that motion either. Never responded even after a year when it was filed. Brian was entitled to vacating all fraudulent begotten judgments and his contentions were true when undisputed, uncontested. That includes his probation violations and his original criminal conviction in November. 2014. The local rule of the Middle District of North Carolina has a written rule stating that any motion which is uncontested and undisputed by the other party or respondent in a case can have that motion decided favorably, and that rule should have been enforceable in all federal courts in that federal district. Let me read to you Local Rule 7.3. Paragraph, F. Response to motion and brief. The respondent, if opposing a motion, shall file a response, including brief, within 21 days after service of the motion, 30 days if the motion is for summary judgment, CLR 56.1, D, 14 days if the motion relates to discovery, CLR 26.2 and LR 37.1. If supporting documents are not then available, the respondent may move for an extension of time in accordance with section, G, of this rule. For good cause appearing therefore, a respondent may be required to file any response and supporting documents, including brief, within such shorter period of time as the court may specify. Let me read to you Local Rule 7.3. Paragraph, K. Failure to file and serve motion papers. 
the failure to file a brief or response within the time specified in this rule shall constitute a waiver of the right thereafter to file such brief or response, except upon a showing of excusable neglect. A motion unaccompanied by a required brief may, in the discretion of the court, be summarily denied. A response unaccompanied by a required brief may, in the discretion of the court, be disregarded and the pending motion may be considered and decided as an uncontested motion. If a respondent fails to file a response within the time required by this rule, the motion will be considered and decided as an uncontested motion, and ordinarily will be granted without further notice. 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 So Brian was already entitled to relief as a matter of law. Brian David Hill is actually innocent of his charge of possession of child pornography. The only reason those motions were denied were because Adolf Thomas David Schroeder, the federal dictator in charge, said that his motions were all meritless and frivolous. How could it be frivolous? If the government had a truly good faith basis that Brian David Hill was guilty of child porn and was never framed up, then why did they not simply respond to those motions with evidence exhibits attachments? And why didn't they ask for more time to respond to them which the judge would have clearly granted such motions? That same local rule was enforced on Brian Hill's criminal case against Brian D. Hill when the United States attorney filed a motion against Brian to attempt to dismiss his case. See Document 141, Motion to Dismiss Motion to Vacate, Set Aside, or Correct Sentence by USA as to Brian David Hill. Response to Motion Due by February 5, 2018, Ramaswamy, Anand, Entered, January 10, 2018. Then a Rose Sporo letter was filed also enforcing Local Rule 7.3 as brought up in the local rules of that court. That letter from the clerk of court said in part, and I quote, Ordinarily, uncontested motions are granted. Therefore, your failure to respond or, if appropriate, to file counter affidavits or evidence in rebuttal within the allowed time may cause the court to conclude that the respondent's contentions are undisputed. As a result, the court may dismiss your suit or render judgment against you. Therefore, Unless you file a response in opposition to the respondent's motion, it is likely your case will be dismissed or summary judgment will be granted in favor of the respondent. Any response or counter affidavits or other responsive material to a motion to dismiss must be filed within 21 days from the date of service of the respondent's motion upon you. That is the exact same language and deadline of Local Rule 7.3 Paragraph K that a party has only 21 days to respond and that uncontested motions are granted. Of course the clerk purposefully did not cite Local Rule 7.3 but nonetheless still enforced that local rule. Brian D. Hill found out about this local rule and started asking the court to grant his uncontested motions as a matter of law. They enforced it on Brian in favor of the government if Brian didn't respond to the government's motion. When Brian's motions asking to vacate his child pornography conviction because such conviction from his original charge was fraudulently based and based on fraudulent evidence, and that was uncontested, Brian was ordinarily supposed to have those motions granted as a matter of law. Brian is being held hostage to a corrupt federal courthouse and that is a fact, under the dishonorable Adolf Thomas David Schroeder, and the Fourth Circuit is also acting like a Nazi Gestapo as well. They dismissed every one of Brian's appeals, all the way up to 10 involving his criminal case in one way or another. Brian then brought forth allegations in his petition for rehearing in the Fourth Circuit United States Court of Appeals that any or all federal judges involved in his cases were raping little kids and being videotaped while conducting the rapes and murder of unnamed kids and were being blackmailed doing so by the deep state swamp intelligence agencies. That information was sourced from attorney L. Linwood who brought up tweets about this blackmail. Ever since then, the judges don't even act on his remaining petitions for rehearing are being stalled by the federal judges, indefinitely. 
There is no doubt that Brian is being held hostage by corrupt and possibly pedophile federal judges holding his appeals hostage and holding him hostage to the corrupt federal judges and United States Marshals. That is why Brian Hill is still a QAnon supporter. Brian believes those judges will be arrested for high treason for holding an innocent man illegally hostage to the whims of a highly treasonous federal judiciary who refuses to ever hold the government accountable for Brian but those same federal judges who refuse to hold the government accountable for any fraud or perjury or wrongdoing holds Brian accountable for any little thing Brian says and any action Brian ever does. It is all one-sided. Please share this video with every patriot you know. The evidence links should be in the video description. This is a video prepared for Stanley Bolton channels and will be posted on alternative platforms for sharing patriotic videos. Justice for Brian D. Hill of USWGO Alternative News. Justice for USWGO.wordpress.com or justice for USWGO.nl. Video speech prepared on July 17, 2021. Thank you American patriots and patriots worldwide where we go one we go all. God bless you all.